Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock windup. Uh, I think it's all things metal this week, which I'm all right with. Starting off with also the uh, hump day poll question over at 989therock.com. Will Lamb of God's Randy Blythe get a fair deal in the Czech Republic? He was back this week to face the music, so to speak, about the alleged murder that happened of one of the fans at their show back in 2010. Uh, but now it looks like the trial is on hold until the, 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 the defense team can get a particular witness up there. Um, next month, I think he's going to end up going back. He said he will go back. But what's been interesting about this is that there's been multiple accounts as to what happened to the, to the fan who ended up dying a month later. So is this uh, a situation where justice needs to be served or just one big giant witch hunt? And I guess uh, only time will tell. Well, the Metal Alliance Tour is going to get underway soon with High on Fire, Municipal Waste, Exodus, Holy Grail, and Headliners Anthrax. And it seems now that Exodus is going to be banned from performing at the House of Blues in Florida because Disney says, we do not like your fans, we do not like your lyrics, we do not like you. They uh, pulled the same thing back in December with Machine Head. And so it looks like uh, Exodus is going to have to sit this one out because Mickey doesn't like metal. Speaking of Anthrax, former guitarist Rob Caggiano, if you, that's how you say it, I do believe, uh, announcing this week he's going to be joining Volbeat, which uh, definitely sent some waves in the metal community. I think it was like last week Scott Ian said it was the biggest mistake he ever le uh, uh, did leaving Anthrax, but Volbeat's pretty badass. <laughs> so uh, as this continues to unfold, I'll make sure to keep you in the loop. Well, what do you do when you owe the IRS a whole ass ton of money and you earn Pantera? You write a tell-all book, obviously. Former Pantera bassist Rex Brown going to be pinning his autobiography about life and times inside of Pantera and then subsequently taking all the money that's made from it and giving it to the IRS. And to close out your weekly rock wind-up, a story about Marilyn Manson collapsing on stage in Canada a couple nights ago. It seems that the rocker was getting into it and then fell on the stage. The band continued to play, but then it was realized that he's not getting up and not moving and supposedly had thrown up a couple of times before falling down. Uh, it was cited that he has a uh, severe case of the flu. Now, he didn't go to the hospital to get any sort of treatment or anything. He just went back to the hotel room to, uh, to rest up. He said he wants to continue on with the tour. You know what else makes you fall down and collapse and nearly throw up? Too much cocaine. Ah, I'm just saying. The man has been quoted as stating that there's a lot of straws backstage, but he doesn't drink soda. I'm Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to Weekly Rock Windup. If you're heading downtown this weekend for World of Wheels or Monster Jam, have a good time. Be safe. Be smart. Peace. And don't walk across the street when you don't have the crosswalk, okay? There's a reason why the sign says, go, not go, okay? Just saying. As someone who lives downtown, it gets to be kind of annoying when you just wander out into the street. I don't want to run you over. That's all I'm saying. I love you. Bye. Break and break one nine. Never had one lesson. <laughs>